Hi everyone, it's Anne here from annshappystampers.co.uk and I'm back with another tutorial. Now today I've got a really simple one but I think it's very effective because it is a cute little ribbon storage and you can just slide your ribbons out, well not the whole ribbon, but pull out what you need, you know, when you need it, just pull them pull them out and there you go and it holds depending on the thickness of your ribbons but I've got one two three four five six I've got six in here okay so I'm going to show you how I've made it now I made this one in calypso coral and I used the petal garden DSP for that so we are going to make this one in chocolate chip and why is the camera not focusing we're going to do it in chocolate chip and the dsp is um the wood one which i can't remember what you call it now um but it's beautiful and it really does look like real wood and we're going to use this side. Now your cardstock is just a piece of A4. Um, no, I'm lying. It is A4. Uh, I've left the the long side at eleven and three quarters, but I've cut the other side down to um, seven and three quarters. Okay, so seven and three quarters by eleven and three quarters, and you're going to need three pieces of DSP, um, which measure they all measure three by five, and then you need a small one which is five by one and one eighth, and that's it. Really simple. So we're going to score our card. So pop it in, I need a scoring tool, that's it. So on the long side, we are going to score our card at three and a quarter, then just turn it round and score again at three and a quarter. Okay, dead easy. Now the short side, we are going to score it at one and a quarter inches and four and a half and that is what you'll have now you will need a pencil sorry you will need a ruler as well and what we're going to do is have your small score line at the bottom and with your ruler we want to measure in one and a quarter inches so i've got one and a quarter inches lined up there and I'm just going to score it there at the end of the ruler because what we're going to do is with that line we are going to score from this score line to here so corner to corner hitting onto our score line okay is that right have I done it right no ignore me yes that's right so just go from corner from your start again your score line we're going to go from that corner to our score line yeah not corner to corner so make sure you've got your ruler on this little um line here and make sure it goes to your touches to your score line you've just made with the ruler so it would just be like that okay so actually we'll do that now so from this corner there's my little mark that I made with a ruler and I'm just going to score straight down okay there's the little mark I made with the score tool then what you want to do is one and a quarter again what we're going to do this time is from this score line here we're going to measure up we're going to measure it to one and a quarter again which is here 
and we're just going to mark it with our score tool and then what we're going to do is from the score line to that line there we're just going to draw mark a score line okay so that's what you should have and we're going to do the exact same on the other side this paper right so measure along one and a quarter inches just mark it there and then from this corner we're going to go to our little marks there and we're going to score it to this corner here okay and then we're going to measure up one and a quarter like that and then we're just going to score from that mark we've made to this corner here there we go so that is what you should have and literally all we're going to do is just cut those off now you can use your trimmer if you want to um, but I'm just going to use my scissors to be honest so I'm going to fold and burnish these, li <clears throat> these lines not the ones that we've just put in because we're just going to cut them anyway all right so let me get my scissors and I'm just going to cut along the lines we've just made like I say you can use your trimmer if you prefer You're just going to have it on the side and you're just going to cut along that score line and you're going to cut along this one as well. Alright, and you're going to do the same on this side. Okay, because what's going to happen is, I'll fold these, these in a little bit, so your back is going to come up like this. And then that is going to fold up like that and then that is going to go in there which is going to give you your box okay so I want my piece of DSP just along here so I'm going to get some tumble and glue this on Okay, and then where I'm putting my other pieces of DSP is I'm having a piece inside on the bottom, then I'm having a piece on the back, and then I'm sorry, in the inside back, and then I'm going to have my other piece on the outside back. But you know, you don't have to, you can pop the paper wherever you like. Okay, so I'm going to have a piece on the what will be the bottom of the box, then a piece on the back of the inside, okay, just like that, gorgeous, I love this DSP. And then it would be like this and then I'm also going to put a piece on the back just here okay 
Okay, so that is that. It's dead easy to do, but I do think it's really nice actually. So what we want to do now is we are going to glue, we want some glue on here or tape or whatever you want to, whatever you prefer to use. I'm just going to use Tombow. So bring that bit up like that and then we're going to glue this to here. Just press that down with your own folder if you want. And then this bit is going to get glued on the inside just like that. Okay, so I'm going to do this bit first. And then you can always just, you know, make as many as you need. And you could even glue them together at the sides, I suppose, if you wanted to and have like, <clears throat> you know, a long display of them. It's entirely up to you. And then we want to glue on our two little pieces that we have left. So we're just going to glue them into there like that. Dead easy. And it's actually quite strong because, you know, you've got double the sides on here. So they are, it is actually a really, you know, sturdy little box. And you can decorate it up any other way if you wish to, but I actually like mine just quite plain like this and I think it actually looks like real wood. Now you could pop it, pop it on there as well and then I think, you know, it really would look real. So that's the box. Now I've got some spare ribbons here. Now I don't know how many of these I'll get in because I know some of these are thicker than the other ones. So. We've got a thick one there, then another thick one, so that is two, and then I've got some uh, normal sized ones here. Probably might even get one more in there so yes that's one two three four five six seven so it just depends what sizes what sizes you have really but um, yeah I really really like this and then like I say you just pull whatever you need off and it keeps them all nice and neat and tidy they're not just lying around your craft room or whatever you wear wherever you craft so there we go i hope you've enjoyed it like i said you could make make them and then you could glue them or tape them together like that and um, obviously decorate them the same you know do whatever you like really but yeah that's today's tutorial i hope you've enjoyed it and i'll be back again on wednesday with another so all the info will be on my blog if you want to check out the sizes and um, so take care and bye for now